Well, all right, friends, it's Bible Teaching Thursday time. We uh, find ourselves in fall of year B in our lectionary, uh, and we are looking at the book of James. Uh, in fact, James chapter 3, uh, a chapter that begins, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I needed to clear my throat, I apologize for that, uh, allergy season, with the taming of the tongue. Somewhere along the line, I took the time, probably way too much time to um, put some images with what James writes in this is in this chapter, um, because I think it kind of kind of help us see the progression. It just seems kind of like one thing after another. But um, James says, if anyone stump does not stumble in what he says, he's a perfect man, able to bridle his whole body. In other words, if you can control what comes out of your mouth, you have a lot of self control, right? You can probably stop yourself from doing just about anything because um, what he's going to say here is. The tongue's one of the hardest things to control. So he kind of wants to show us the power of the tongue. He says, if we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole body. See, a bit is a very small thing, but you put that in a horse's mouth and you can turn that horse the way you want it to go. Similarly, he said, look at ships. Well, they are so large and driven by strong winds, they're guided by a very small rudder. So you put that rudder on the back and you, you turn that water one way or the other and it will control the direction of that boat. So tongues, small but powerful. Verse five, so the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. The tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life and set on fire by hell. Now think about that. We went from how powerful the tongue is to the destruction the tongue can bring, right? It can burn the whole thing down. How many friendships in your life have maybe been burnt down by a tongue, something someone said to you or something you said to someone else? Now, if you've never done that, you've never let your mouth runneth over, so to speak, um, good for you. Um, but my experience is at some point in our life, all of us said something that we regretted and it had consequences that sort of lasted. And maybe that was one of the first lessons we we needed to not let it happen again, all right? But it's very possible. People, people can forget things you do even more than they can forget things you say. It'll resonate in their ears forever. And then this longer last part here, for every kind of beast, a bird, reptile, sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. See, isn't that funny? We can... We can sort of harness our will over creation if we get creative enough. Although, uh, if you watch Jurassic Park, uh, they had a tough time of that with the dinosaurs, but thankfully the dinosaurs are extinct. And so um, uh, we can we can mostly get nature to do our will uh, within reason, but no human being can tame the tongue. Isn't that funny? We can put uh, bears and tigers and lions in zoos and, and look at them for our pleasure, but we can't stop what comes out of our mouth. It's a restless evil, a deadly poison. With it, we bless our Father in heaven, and with it, we curse those made in the image and likeness of God. Isn't that something? The same tongue that sings hymns on Sunday morning can say the most vile thing to another. And he says, these things ought not be so. Okay? So I could keep going here, but you get the idea. The point is to keep watch over our tongues. I struggle with it. Probably many of you struggle with it. Um, but part of being a Christian, well, being a person in general, but especially being a Christian is to keep watch over our tongue. James is a lot of moral exhortation. That's why Luther didn't always love the book because Christ was hard to find there. But um, what he's saying is, is true. It resonates with Proverbs. It resonates with uh, the words of our Lord who said, do not, do not take your words lightly. Uh, and so just a good reminder this week uh, that we, the people of God, would keep watch over our tongues. All right, grace and peace to you. We'll see you this Sunday in worship.